Hi everyone, welcome to Freelabs. In this video, we are going to talk about a GPIO output configuration, OpenDrain. If you haven't done so, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button to subscribe to Freelabs for more videos like this. A microcontroller that is configured as an OpenDrain output simply means that its output is always pulled to the ground to allow the output to go high. It needs to be connected to a pull-up resistor. To demonstrate, here is a microcontroller. Let's assume that it is configured as an open drain output. We connect an LED and then program the microcontroller to toggle the LED every second. Initially, the pin is set to zero. The LED should remain off. After one second is up, the pin is set to one. The LED should turn on, but since it is an open drain configuration, it will not. To address this issue, we need to have a pull-up resistor. It could either be an internal pull-up or an external pull-up. A lot of microcontrollers these days support internal pull-ups. To enable internal pull-ups for an open drain configuration, please refer to your microcontroller's datasheet. With that being done, the same circuit above will now be able to turn your LED on. However, if internal pull-ups are not available on your selected MCU, then you should add an external pull-up to your pin like this, and that should solve the problem. To know where your microcontroller behaves this way when configured as an open drain, let's look within the chip. The GPIO output code looks like this. And when open drain configuration is selected, the top PMOS transistor is deactivated. What you are left with is a single transistor. When the transistor is switched on, the pin is pulled to the ground, and when the transistor is turned off, the drain of the transistor is left open, hence the term open drain. The open drain output configuration of a GPIO is useless until you provide a pull-up capability. Was the video helpful? Did we miss something? Or is there a particular topic you would like us to cover? Please let us know in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and see you on our next video.